Welcome back to Bits of an Artist Life. We just got back from camping and I have got a couple of really, really fun packages to open. They're small packages, but I think there's big things in here. One is from a company that I reached out to and asked them if they'd like to work with me and send some stuff. And they said yes. And I'm excited. I do not collab with people unless I'm like in love with their stuff. And then this shiny, I picked this up at our P.O. box and the mail lady brought it. I was like, hello, that makes me happy. And then when I got home, I was like, are you ready for this grading? And he was like, I think so. He was, he, he was like, well, that's nice. This is from one of you guys. Sent me something that you thought that I would really like. So I'm really excited. Okay, we will open these. But first, I want to tell you about another supply that I got that cracked me up. It was not exactly what I thought I was ordering. I will say beforehand, I did try to find the information so I could get the proper thing, what I thought that I was ordering, but there was like Zippo information on this. I have got these clips that are literally the best clips in the world. I got these free in like an art box that Grady ordered for me for each month. I got free supplies. I've literally done surgery to this. Like this little thing came off and you can see where I've tied it back on. I have two of them and the times that I've thought that I've lost these, I've been like, uh, because I never knew what they were called. I've tried to find these before, but I never knew like the name. I saw a video of a guy that used these and he said like what they're called, spring clamp. So I was like, hot doggity, I'm getting some. I'm gonna order so many that it doesn't matter if I lose these. I found a big bag of them and they were in a variety of sizes. I was like, yes please. So I got the bag. It is huge and it is redonkulous. Let me just show you the size. <laughs> it's clips are as big as my head. This is the big size. Now granted, there are two of the tiny sizes. What? What am I gonna do with this? There are some in-between sizes that I will use. In fact, I'm using two right now to like call this camera thing up, but so I told Gray, I was like, I'll give you these. You can put them in your toolbox. I mean, I thought I was getting a whole bag of like really good small sizes. Now here's the kicker. So here's what I got. Here's the thing if you want to, you probably don't want to buy these, but okay. So here's the kicker though. I accidentally bought two bags. <laughs> I mean, the good news of that is now I have four of the sizes that I wanted. I have two jumbo bags of these now. I mean, I'm like, what, what, what? So hopefully this art haul will only go uphill from here. I mean, now, hmm, which one to open first? Okay, I'm gonna open the sparkly package first. This is from Britta. Basically, she saw a need and she said, I can fulfill that need. Wait, wait, oh my gosh, there's so many things in here. This is going to be so fun. What? Oh, this is so fun. I made that card. How sweet is that? Here comes Coop because he hears me being happy. Hey bud, we're opening art supplies. We're opening art supplies. I'm gonna read this later. Oh my gosh, there's so many wonderful things here. I don't even know what to do. I'm like, what? Okay, okay. I see several water brushes here. Okay, you know how I was saying the large water brush that I got in the last, or in one of the old past art hauls, it said large and I got it and it was like too tiny. She said they make the Chinese bristle or calligraphy brushes. That's what I use almost all the time for painting. She said they make those in water brushes. I was like, yes, please, sign me up, hello. And she said she had gotten a pack of them and she only used the small ones and she would send me the big ones. Okay, this is a square one. I have one of these and I like it. There's that. And then, oh, the calligraphy. I mean, who knew? Did y'all know those calligraphy water brushes? Oh, not me, not me. I did not know. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Are you kidding me? Man, it looks fancy. This looks way fancier than any water brush I've ever had. 
wow, this is like Pharrell from Japan. It looks like, wow, this does look fancy. How does that water? I feel like there's gonna have to be in sh Oh, you twist it to press the water. What? This is fancy. Thank you. I'm gonna be using that for sure. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, then here's another one. This one I can tell is more of that like goat hair. It's the white, which those are, the white tip ones are always a little firmer. And then this has the brown, which is softer. But they both do that pump, that twist thing. I've never seen those like that. <laughs> Look at this cute little purse. I, did you knit this, Britta? I have a feeling you did and I love the colors. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow. I love little things like this. I love the pattern of the knitting. I love stuff like this. Okay, what's in here? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? No way, wait, wait, she just made me so this is a wristband and you put it like this and you can wipe your brush and then I guarantee you this is going to be, oh, wait, let me turn it around so I can open it and see. It's going to be a mini little palette. It is. Oh my God. I'm dying. I'm dying. What? It's, and she even did a little stay wet palette. It has the little stay wet sponge and that, oh my gosh, I'm this is so special. They're big, they're big fans. I love big fans. Oh my gosh. I reached out to Britta to see if she would be interested in opening up some inquiries to you guys if y'all are interested in these. And she said yes. So if you are interested in a personalized little kit like this, she would be happy to discuss that. So I'm going to put her email link down below in the description and you can reach out to her if you are interested in a cute little kit like this. Off we go. I'm dying. This was so stinking kind. And then the fact that like I can put this. Oh, she attached the brush because she was showing me I can attach the brush there. Hot doggy. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be out there walking and painting. I mean, nobody can stop me now. <laughs> I am sitting here editing. Britta explained to me that is actually supposed to go around your neck and like hang right here. That's why the little loop thing is so short. If I had just a little bit bigger brain, I probably would have figured that out. But I think that's really cool. Really nice way to carry out your stuff, so. I can't even, I can't even handle it. I cannot wait to show Grady this. Let me. Britta sent me, first off, these three amazing brushes. Well. They're travel. They're the water brushes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But look how much bigger the, do you remember how small my Oh, yeah, think? of course. Okay, and then look, she made this. So the brush hangs off that. She knit that earlier? I'm sure she did. Wow. Look. And then I can just get to going. And then, that means I won't have to carry your stuff. No longer your Sherpa. <laughs> okay, well, wait, we're not done. What? Oh, my goodness. Sandy. And you can she just, knows you. You can dry your brush wow, off. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And All then, the things. Okay. She made this out of a little, and this is a little stay wet palette. That's here. amazing. You can just kick it. Wow. She's really talented. And then also. What a sweet gift. I mean, that was over. so useful. She's like, she knows you. I All the things. I love it. I love it. And, and the packaging was, was fun. It was so fun. Wow. Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. Holy smoke. That was, that was over the top, over the top. I mean, it is over the top. I'm just gonna tell you that. That was over the top noise. <laughs> and I'm loving this pattern. I knit too, so I haven't done it in a long, 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 long time. Mm. I need so much, so much. Okay, wow. Okay, let's open this last package. And this is from the company Art Toolkit. I re Sorry, I know I just made y'all nervous. I made myself a little nervous. <laughs> I did buy this at the art store recently. Can we just say hello to these colors? I mean, wow. If that doesn't make you happy when you're about to chop something, open a box, makes me happy. Could it be doesn't make you happy? <laughs> He's like, yep, if you're happy, I'm happy. Ooh. Okay, here's a really cute card. The founder painted this. 
Maria. This is also something for my art walking. Man, I'm gonna be like cooked up. I'll be able to have one set in the Airstream for when we go travel and one for here. I'm gonna change the camera so you can see it overhead. One second. I need to check out this company because the founder, she does like amazing expeditions and stuff. And so she created this stuff that's in here for, I mean, for travel and for ease of painting. I don't know what to open first. Let's open these first. Oh my goodness, there's so many little goodies. This feels like little candies I'm opening. Okay, let's open this up too. Do I want to open up this? I mean, it feels like, like nothing's actually in here. Okay, there's not. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, that was just packaging. I'm not kidding. These feel like little gems. Let's open this one first. So this is called the Pocket Palette. It's a magnetic watercolor palette. I really wanted to be able to remember where I saw these first, but I saw them and looked the company up and was like, hello, I love this. Would y'all like to send me some products to try out and share with my audience? I could tell that they were amazing products. How about this cute little bag? Loving the little bag. All right. Okay, guys, this is literally like the size of a business card. Look how thin. Wow, fits in the hand really nice. Holy smoke. Wow, it opens nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, welcome to your new pocket palette. Fill pans with two paints and dry overnight before you use. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. And all these are little, they're magnetic. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Now, I won't probably use these tiny ones because for me, the reason I reached out to this company, I loved these big square pans. Now, what Maria told me was that this size pan right here will take the same amount of paint as a regular small watercolor pan. Now, what's nice about that is that you're not trying to dig your brush in there. I always feel like I'm like messing my brush up when I'm like digging in that little bitty thing. And this way you have a bigger surface. Now, that does mean that you can't get as many paints in there, but even these little thin, narrow ones, to me, that's better than a square. I mean, these things are so stinky and cute though. I mean, maybe I will use them, but they are cute. And then this is a mixing area, but this is also a mixing area. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's so cute. And then the other thing is you can do all kinds of a different arrangement. This surface looks like it could be quite amazing or will be quite amazing for mixing on also. It's so Tiny. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now look at this one. We thought this was small. Okay. <laughs> this is the Demi palette. I mean, <laughs> this thing. These little bags are really nice. Okay. Oh, she sent me a black one. Yes, they come in two colors this silver and this black. Oh, I like this black. Guys, it is tiny. Look at that. Hot doggity. They asked which one I was interested in, and I said this one, and they sent this one to me too. What? This little thing. Guys, I feel like I'm dying. Are you ready for all the cuteness that's probably going to happen when we open this? Look at that. And then it's got 50 million little baby pins. they little baby I mean, those are babies if I've ever seen babies. And look how it just snaps in there. It's just magnetic. So again, I'm going to take these out and they sent me some other pans. We're going to open those. But what people will do, let me go grab my sketchbook real quick. Hold on. So what I'll be doing, what I can do is take my little palette like this and using my handy dandy clips and just clip it on there. I'll have to play around with how I want to do it. Maybe you should do it like this. I bet I can just clip it. Oh, heck yeah, let's do it like this. It could just be off to the side. Yeah. Uh, perfect. Heck, I could have like my entire watercolor palette between that and then the one Britta sent me on my, put that on my arm and I am, I'm off to the races. Man, they mentioned that they kind of like somehow sit in one another too or something. Yeah, so I could even do that. 
that sits in there really nicely. I cannot wait to show Grady. I mean, he's not going to be as excited as I am, but I'm excited to show him. Okay, well, let's keep these open. Let's keep these open. Okay, before I forget to tell you guys, the other thing, I asked the owner, we had a meeting, I asked her if they would give you guys a discount. So she sent me a discount code. <laughs> thinking of you guys, thinking of you guys for sure. So below in the description is a discount code. It is only good through, I think it's the end of October of 2021. So go get you one with a discount code. The sound even just sounds like little candies that we're opening. That's what it feels like. I'd rather be opening this than candies. Oh my goodness. Gosh, you guys over at Art Toolkit, y'all went over and above. Okay. Yeah, see, this is the size, and the next one that I'm going to show you are the sizes that I was interested in. I love, love, love these flat, thin pans. I mean, I really love them. It's so unique. I know some of you guys would probably be interested in those little baby ones, too. And then, look at these. These are their big pans. Oh, they sent me three. Awesome. Wow. So you know I've been wanting to just take one color out so that will fit there. And then I can move these two little ones over and have three colors. That's going to be awesome. Or I can do, yeah, there's just all kinds of different arrangements that you could do with these. That's what I really like about it. This company has really thought out some things really smart and it's just, I'm, I'm loving them. That's why I reached out to them. I knew you guys would be interested and it just seemed like a really great company and a great product. Everything about the product feels amazing. After I get this all set up, I'll film me setting my palette up. I've got to think about it for a little bit. Hey guys, I wanted to jump on here because I'm sitting here playing with my new little art tool kit. Just took out all those little baby pans and I just realized this little mixing one, mixing tray comes out too. Okay, what? So if you wanted to make use of the entire thing and not have a mixing thing, I mean, it's really, this is really smart. Smart, smart, smart. So I just needed to show you that. I'm going to keep looking around. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it and put in here and stuff. So back to it. I'll film in a minute when I get it all set up or figured out. Okay. I wish you could see the studio right now. We've just got back from the camping trip and then I've got these packages. The studio is an explosion. I still haven't decided the exact setup I want to do with my bigger palette. I'm probably going to save this for more of like a trip, I think. And in fact, I may order some more of this or see if Maria will send me some more of this size because you have some little gaps. So if I put that here, then I have like a little gap, which would be fine. But I do like the idea of these bigger ones. These little small ones are a little too small for me. But for some of you guys, they would be perfect. So there's all my little babies all together right there. For my walk, I think what I'm going to do is all green. I've enjoyed just doing one color in my sketchbooks. In this just, you know, messy sketchbook. And I've enjoyed using green. And I have played around with some blue. But for the most part, I have green in here. And I tend to go for the chrome oxide. I decided I'm going to pick four greens that are a little different. Actually, this Tiger's Eye Genuine is not even, is that even considered a green? Maybe because it's got that. But the Undersea Green, Tiger Eye, Chrome Oxide, and then this Turner Permanent Green Mid Gouache. I'm going to put all four greens in here. I think I'm going to do a little test real quick. Let me see if those are the colors I want to and then, yeah, let's, let's do a little color swatch. Okay, let's make sure these are the greens that we want. Let me do just a little color swatch in here. Do it on this last page. Because the last thing I want is, like, four greens that are similar. I know these aren't too similar, but we'll just go straight from the tube. How about that? Okay, that's the undersea green. When that dries also, it's got some amazing granulation. Let's do this tiger's eye. This is kind of a brownish. Not kind of. It, it is, but it's really pretty mixed with the greens. Man, it's getting gunky. Yeah, that's brown, but that's pretty. I better clean this. Um, let's see. I don't want to waste that, so let's just put that in one of these little pans because I'm pretty sure I'm going to use that. <laughs> so professional. Y'all are used to it though, aren't you? 
I don't have much of this chrome oxide left. Bummer. Oh, and it's squishing out. Oh no. I know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to be using that. So I'm going to go on and fill this pan. Founder said that it's nice to do two like layers. Do one layer and let it dry, but I don't know that I'm going to do that. I'm just going to squish it in here. Her pans always looked really nice and neat. This paint right here is kind of a little more like wash. It's really thick. So, wow, I'm using all of it. Then let's try this Turner's gouache. This is going to be a brighter green. Ooh, it's wanting to really come out of there fast. Yeah, I'm super happy with all three of those. I think we're just going to go with a green palette. How about that? I think that's a pretty color palette. What I'm gonna do. This Turner Green, I wanna do it in the small one. Ooh, that's nice and juicy. Ooh, that's nice. Wow, wow. Well, it's kind of a little gloppier, too. I'm going to have so much fun in the morning when I go walking. I'm sure people, you guys are like cringing at this. So many people would be all like nice and neat and doing it nice and neat. But see, that's gloppier paint. You can't get that super nice and neat anyways. I mean, I love a fresh, brand new, like clean, fresh paints that aren't mucked up. Mine only ever look like, oh, let's push that right off the off the magnet. Mine only look like this, like right off the bat. They'll never look like this again. Maybe I need to put that one in first. I suppose I feel bad for you guys because I feel like people usually do like all these really pretty videos when they're doing this kind of thing and, and mine are just like real life here. You guys are going to be such friends. Now, if that's not a, a gore and just outdoor palette for a walk, I don't know what is. Wow. That just makes me want to go paint. Art toolkit, thank you, thank you, thank you. And what I'm going to do with the one that Britta sent me, so I'm going to save this for when we get to hiking, when it gets a little cooler. I went in there and told Grady, I was like, this is like Christmas. I mean, this felt like Christmas. Art toolkit and Britta, thank you. I thought I would bring you guys outside with me. I am dying to try out, wait for it, a little mini palette. It's a really nice day out. I was going to wait till tomorrow for my walk because this morning I didn't get a chance to go on a walk, but I thought it'd be fun to just take a little bit larger sketchbook out and just sketch around the property. We have some great weeds on the property. I mean, our beds are just filled with stuff, mainly weeds. So I thought I would just fill up a page using just my greens from this. I cannot wait to try those. This palette will never, ever, ever look like this again. And I'm okay with that. I do enjoy a really beautiful, clean palette, but let's mess this baby up. I'm just gonna not worry about it being perfect. Guys, this thing fits like in my tight pants, uh, workout walk pants. I mean, you can't even tell it's there. It just slips right in. And in this pocket, I've got my big old honking water brush. I had the hardest time figuring out how to fill this thing. I literally just ran water over this because I couldn't, I don't know. If anybody knows how to fill this, directions were in whatever that is, Japanese. And then a clip, just put it all right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of look at the weeds, do some quick sketches, nothing amazing. It is feeling a little hotter out now that I'm out here. Okay, let's get to it. Look at this. I mean, how much more convenient can you get than that? I'm gonna go to town. You can join me. Do maybe a little color swatch up here. This is another good thing about wearing painting clothes. You can just go like that. <laughs> so nice. First dirtying of the palette. Okay, let me show you something here. These little yellow ball things, these are some kind of invasive weed that I really hate. These things right here. You may think, well, how are you gonna do that because I don't have yellow? Well, I have different shades of green, and so I have this really bright green and I haven't used it much. But one of the things that you can think about doing is you don't have to fill in. So right now I'm just drawing the round things. It's, I think it's kind of nice sometimes to have things that aren't drawn 
or painted literally. So think about that too, that you don't like have to fill it in and it doesn't have to be the exact color. You know, if you've got just like a limited color palette like this is. And I'm usually, again, looking more at the subject. I'm not thinking a whole lot about my page. This isn't meant to be like a maze. Amazing, remember? <laughs> Again, I don't really know how to use this thing. No, oh, this is weird. Okay. Okay, what can we do with that? Let's just do some big leaves. Again, even something like this, I want to hold down at the base. I feel like I don't have much control over the water with this one. It is giving me some interesting different brush strokes though. Kind of use it to do some background. I'm pretty sure I'm not using this brush right. Any of y'all have tips? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, I'm gonna put that guy away. Go back to this. And then things like the rosemary, I'm doing this. I'm just looking at it, kind of seeing which way the branches go and moving it around like that. And then look up, I saw these brown, dried, dead things over here. And so that added contrast, I'm looking for things that look more brownish green, using my brownish green that way, things that look brighter, using the bright. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I thought something got me. It was just, I think it was just my brush. <laughs> so welcome to my life. All right, I'm back in the house now. I cannot stay out there very long at all. This was a super, super, super quick sketch. It got blazing hot. It's like when I first went out, it was like that felt nice, but it's blazing hot. So my finished sketch, I'll show you some footage of it in just a minute, but I brought it in. What I want to do is I've got a little corner here that's kind of blank and I want to just document a little bit. The date and probably say something about the weeds in my garden. Uh, it just looks like a nice little space for it. So I'm gonna do that now. Always like to get a nice loaded up brush. I love putting words on pages. That's probably why I put the date all the time. Now, if I talk while I'm doing this, I'll misspell something, but I mean, and that's also okay. I really cannot tell you how much I'm loving this palette. I also really like the palette, the mixing palette area. What do I want to say? Okay, here's the finished sketch. For some reason, I decided to add all these little dots. I don't really know why I did that. Once I started, it was kind of hard to stop. But one of the things that I was thinking about, I knew it needed a little more filling in, and so I was just trying to remember back to what was there. And I guess maybe that kind of represented dirt. Now, there's nothing about this that's a masterpiece, but what was like masterpiece about it was how much fun that was. It only took a few minutes, I filled up a whole page. If it had been cooler out, I would have stood out there for much longer because as my eyes adjusted, I saw more and more and more and more things. So I'm definitely, as the cooler months come, I'm going to do more of this and just play. And as I do that, I'll get better and better at filling up a page with even just these four colors. But I'm real happy with it just because it was so fun. I could not be happier with this little guy. You are my new friend. There she is.